Hello and welcome back to Leander98 channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to make a 3D printable car in Blender. We're going to be using a 2019 Toyota GR86 as our template to make throughout the tutorial. So, without further ado, I present to you the 2024 modeling tutorial for 3D printing. Alright, in the last part, we did modeled the roof. Yeah, so we're going to continue on. We're going to do this fender here. So we're going to get this shape here, and we're just going to continue it. Actually, it wouldn't be a bad idea to take a look at the videos I had to look up before doing this. Okay, but we see from this picture here, this face is going to continue on, but we do also have a little sharp face right there. Whoa. And that's what that is right there. So... Pull this out a little. Remember, it doesn't hurt to do basic movements that we can fix with loop cuts later. So put that in line, and now so we have that edge to go off of, and we have a little bit of that. All right, so let's loop cut. We're gonna do two. Move it over. like that doesn't hurt to pull it out and now we have that all right so as we see we have a very subtle curve maybe not very subtle but it's there's a curve there yeah the door curves too so that adds to that illusion but it goes from in out and then back in again so let's do that so we're gonna focus on just this face right here we're going to come down to here. This looks like a good place for it to be its most out. And we see that it does start coming out that way, so we're actually going to bring this in. And then we're going to come down to a midsection. Safe to say that it starts the bow in, maybe even actually not go out anymore and then bring down to our side skirt. Now we see that the side skirt is still out more than our starting spot, but it's in from our last place that we were just at. So we'll then bring that back in. That looks good. And then we'll add some loop cuts here. So this one, we're gonna move it out a little. Put this one here, bring that out, move that out, and move that out just a little more, and then up here, and then bow that out a bit right there. All right, we got our curve, looking good. Okay, now we have the wheel well. So we're going to take our bottom, drag that on over. We see that this comes up, and this drops back. So this one's kind of tricky because it's hard to see this part, but we see that the blue does bleed out what looks to be right here. Now if we go to our top, eh, it's plausible. OK, so I think what we're going to do here is we're just going to do lines. So line, edge, vertice, top. Okay. So that once we're at the top, we'll reposition everything. So top's gonna go there. And then this stuff curved up along the way. So and it looks like I probably put that a little too far. but I would like to at least make sure that it's still the outermost. Now the reason I'm doing right here and not down here is because usually when it comes to automotive, this part right here is perfectly flat. So this is pretty much just going to be a scale in, but I don't want to do that yet. I usually like to say that for the end, even when the side skirt's made. All right, and then we're just gonna continue this curve down to 
our rear bumper. So this is going to curve in a little. Very subtle curve. Nice. Okay, so after we do that, we see that we're going to reconvene with this. So that would explain what this is right here. So we'll grab this line. We're at least going to grab these three, four. And then we're going to push them up here. So that seems to be what this curve is telling me. Hopefully it's right. Oh. Let's see. Okay. So at least from the very top one, that seems to be where that is going to connect. However, I'm assuming that, hmm. Let's see. So this one kind of keeps enrolling with that, and it looks like it's even going to connect with that. So this and this will be conjoined at one point. So there's that. We'll even bow this out a hair. This and this can connect. And looks like we need one subdivide. And now we have that. So let's see, do I have a picture of the back of this thing? Well, let's find one. Very bright red, can I see through it? Or is it going to be garbage quality for being such high? Okay, so we see our line here, and it looks like it's going to come pretty close to the tail light. Maybe something like this. Connect that. Let's see, is there a little... Yeah, there is. That's gonna connect there. Now it does seem that there is a little bit of a lip around the tail light, so we'll give that a little bit of room with that in mind. Then we'll drop down, we got our sharp point, and then connect. Huh. Not only does it have a lip, it also has that. So, with that in mind, bring that out, bring this out. All right, so let's take a loop cut. We'll bring this up. We're going to scale it up a hair, bring it up, and then these will come up as well. So that'll add a little bit of that. Now I would like to connect that here. Whoa, connect that here. We'll add a loop cut here. Move that. Connect. Whoa. Connect. Now I have a five. How do I want to go about that five? Well, that looks nice. We could place a loop cut here, meaning we'll double G this back, double G this forward, double G that over. And connect that. However, it would be nice if this was smooth, so bring that up. And we'll make sure that it is all in line. And mesh. Even though our normals were okay, our smoothing wasn't. And now we just pretty much have to fill in the center. Now, obviously, we don't want to be done with it, but we got some things to fill. So there's a four. There's a four. 
Now, we do want to be careful here, because we don't want to add too many vertices going this way. Speaking of which, up that, down this. Okay. Four. Four. Okay. Now, here we can be a little overzealous. Place that, move it over, four, four. I do want to double G this just because. All right, so we have two choices here. We do, we would like to keep this curve going this way. So maybe it'd be good to do that. Got our four. We also have in here. So I think we'll put two for now. And we're going to bring it back this way. By doing that, that'll sink the curve in a little bit. Which I think is what we want. Think so. And there we go. We got our fill. We'll double G these in. Sweet. Now, I don't want to do the creasing that we did up there just yet because then it becomes a whole pain because we need to redo that again. Okay. So while we're here, we'll do this. Make our little window insert. well all right we have a fender may as well finish up that spoiler while we're here too up give it a little bit of a Z so as we can see here spoiler isn't exactly the it's not just a simple curve. We do have some differencing shapes. So we will then need to come back and smoothen that out. Swell. We're going to take these four, bring it down, and we'll scale it down. And we're going to come flat with this chrome plate. We'll scale out in the X direction, though. Because we're touching it here and wending over there. So that seems about right. Now, we do got to fill in that little spot there. We do have a 4. Hmm, but I'm not sure how I feel about that. Jeez, that curves in a lot. Yeah, I don't like that four. So what we're going to do, I think we'll make it a temporary three. Because let's see, we do have a slight bow in. And we can do that. And we are going to extend this out a little. Alright, so yeah, we're a little nerfed right there. Uh, maybe we'll add an edge. Well, not an edge, but a, is it? a crease. Let's go with a light point five. Yeah, there isn't really going to be any lines that need to come off of that that's going to share the same crease, so I think that's safe right there. Alright. I think we'll stop this part here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.